this big thinking event, author, educator, and political advocate Donna Brazil discussed the USA's political landscape and the powerful role that women are playing in shaping her country. I watch her regularly on CNN and other places, read her all the time, but in person she is truly amazing. I'm not used to addressing such a large audience. Usually I'm on CNN, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> here to, to listen to Donna Brazil, who's a fabulous uh, person with such a great amount of knowledge of, you know, just, just has a feel for the pulse of the people, what we need, women's issues especially, and she's here for women in governance. So let me reflect that I never thought I would see this day, the election of the United States of America first black president. And it has been a journey and a milestone we reached. By being able to speak up, by being able to energize and empower people who were often marginalized or left on the sideline. This was not something I envisioned when I was a child who lived in the segregated Deep South, but this is something that our parents prepared us for. This is a moment of transformation. This is a moment to usher in a new era. Oh, man, she's a rock star. It's great. I mean, it's, it's not only great listening to her, but it's great feeling the love in the room. Like, it's just so fantastic seeing all of this energy and people who probably don't even know what Congress is coming because of her, you know, that just shows the wide reach of somebody like that. I'm excited to be here, excited to be part of this Congress and to be able to share my insights in terms of women and the era of Obama, the leadership potential, the obstacles that we must continue to confront. Uh, I enjoyed the Q&A session, but then again, I enjoyed that, that part because you get an opportunity to hear from people rather than just giving a presentation. Moderated by Haroon Akram Lodi, Open Access, Transforming Research in the Developing World brought together Bule Mbambo Thata, Leslie Chan, and Hebe Visuri, who explored the potential impact of open access on the developing world. I've attended a couple of sessions here at the DeSev about open access. If knowledge access is important for development, um, how come so much of knowledge is inaccessible? Does putting knowledge online increase the likelihood of it being used? Because accessibility doesn't equal access. These are different things. It's just kind of like democratization of, of knowledge and just putting it out there. In Southern Africa and, and elsewhere, have already started work on institutional repositories, on open educational resources and open access publishing. We're talking about journal articles, whether they're from the developing world or from the first world, whatever, these are still peer review with a transparent editorial control. And so it compels you to excel as a scholar so that the work that you supervise, the work that you publish, is in fact good quality work. We have to start there somewhere, have quality control, put it there, but also we have to judge on the, on the capacity of the user. Yeah, I really liked it. I mean, it's, uh, it's great, right? I mean, like, there's so many things, so it's like a buffet of, buffet of knowledge, so it's awesome. Yeah. Hexagram's Black Box featured hypertext and performance, a resonant response to Joanna Bailey's witchcraft. Original scenes were performed and accompanied by intermedial responses from interdisciplinary research creation artists and romantic scholars. It was uh, like a fireworks of all kinds of impressions. Um, but for me it's been really interesting just to sort of see how everything is coming together and how this sort of tapestry has been woven and the show has come to life. So it's been a really great experience, especially as a theater student at the school, to work with such experienced and accomplished directors. Lots of intriguing layers too that I'm going to continue thinking about. Be sure to check out the Espace Recherche events happening throughout Congress. Cloud Deck is a research web portal prototype where clouds of descriptors represent the connectedness of Concordia's community of researchers, featured on the third floor of the MB building. We're standing in Espace Recherche on the Cloud Deck in the Molson building. Everybody is experimenting with the prototype web project that we've been working on for the research office in the last uh, few months. What it is is an experimental uh, way of describing and mapping 
the research community at Concordia with the idea of showing how people are connected, showing how people could be connected, and helping people find who's doing what at Concordia. Almost all of the heavy lifting on this project has been done by undergraduates who've been working with us to do web programming, graphic design, thinking through some really difficult issues of how you represent a very complicated subject in new and fresh and Concordia-style ways. Thinkbox is a continuous program of creative, research-driven multimedia work by Concordia students and faculty in the MB building. The Thinkbox is a multimedia room. It has projectors and two screens, and it's basically a place for research and innovation. It's really the complete life cycle of all of these creatures and the way that they interact with each other. Every creature in the system has a very simple defined behavior, like uh, what tells them to do what when. Uh, but when all of the creatures come together and interact with each other, the results that come out of it are really sort of surprising and, and uh, much more complex than, than the individuals that make them up. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good analogy to other complex systems like economy, like politics, like ecology. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I think that it's the format that should be used for all academic conferences. The creativity that went in, the planning, the speed that it was done, it really captured your attention. I liked it a lot. I think the idea of uh, visuality in terms of representing research is something that should be more used. There was a picture of a soldier, a hardened soldier with a tear falling down his eye and um, just this whole notion of really what is education? Is it education to fit into a dominant understanding or is it education to challenge some of the issues that are very complex and disturbing? C'est un projet intéressant dans le sens que ça exploite parfaitement les, euh, des nouveaux algorithmes, des, des algorithmes non classiques. Évidemment, on se sent un peu perdu parce que ce n'est pas, pas le domaine dans lequel on est habituellement placé. Du point de vue de la créativité, c'est très intéressant parce que ça explore de nouvelles facettes de ces algorithmes et ça crée un environnement tout à fait nouveau. Et sur ce plan-là, c'est très intéressant. En tout cas, c'est certainement à jour comme recherche. Chaque jour pendant le congrès, l'exposition « Histoire de vie » présente les histoires des survivants d'Arménie, de l'Holocauste, du Rwanda, du régime des Khmers Rouges et de la dictature de Duvalier. Le projet « Histoire de vie Montréal » a commencé en 2007 et il va se terminer en 2012. Notre objectif, c'est d'interviewer 500 Montréalais et Montréalaises qui sont ici aujourd'hui parce qu'ils ont quitté leur pays d'origine à cause des guerres, des génocides ou d'autres types de violations de droits de la personne. On a plein d'autres projets, euh, par exemple le projet de Liz Miller, Going Places, où plutôt que faire des entrevues euh, format normal, standard, on fait des ateliers, par exemple avec des jeunes réfugiés, pour leur donner les outils mm -hmm. eux-mêmes, pour qu'ils fassent des entrevues entre eux, ou qu'ils racontent eux-mêmes leur propre histoire avec différents médias, la vidéo, la photo, l'écriture. Euh. L'idée, c'est vraiment de permettre aux gens de mettre un visage sur l'histoire euh, avec un grand H. Euh, donc quand on pense, par exemple, à au génocide des Tutsi au Rwanda en 1994. Ça peut paraître loin, lointain, autant dans l'espace que dans le temps. Pourtant, c'est des gens qui sont avec nous aujourd'hui, c'est des collègues à moi, c'est des gens qu'on croise dans la rue. Ils vivent aujourd'hui ici avec cette histoire-là en eux, l'histoire de leur famille, de leurs amis, tout ça. It's very interesting to get the, the history through the eyes of these women. Uh, I watched the Memoriescapes uh, clip. Uh, they went through a lot of devastating events and still they were able to surpass that and be able to enjoy life. So I really admire the fact that Congress has allowed me to go through these experience and learn a little bit more about history that you know you don't often hear about. Don't miss the book fair throughout Congress that brings scholarly works, fiction and everything in between to Congress delegates from a vast array of publishers. Et pendant toute la durée du congrès, vous pourrez voir à la galerie Leonard et Bina Ellen une exposition intitulée « Ignition », créée par les étudiants en maîtrise des beaux-arts. Les cinéphiles auront aussi le plaisir de visionner des films sur Montréal, présentés tous les soirs du congrès au cinéma de Sèvres. Bon congrès!